What's going on everyone? It's your rifle here and by your rifle I mean I am your rifle. And in this video I wanted to show you guys how to get faster glimmer since Zer is going to be staying here a little longer. Zer is actually going to be staying here until Monday. But if you are from the far future don't be looking for Zer on Monday because you won't find him. And the reason why we need to know how to get glimmer is because a lot of rewards, upgrades, pretty much everything on Destiny involves glimmer. It's the currency on Destiny. So what we're going to need to do is figure out faster methods to get Glimmer. And this method I have for you guys is actually, it's not that difficult. All you're going to have to do is go to Mars on the Mission Exclusion Zone. You do not have to do the difficulty that I am doing it on. But you can see how much Glimmer I get by doing it on the hardest difficulty. But anyways, you'll get to a part. It's actually in the very beginning of this Mars mission. You'll just have to run for a little bit. But you'll finally get here and when you get here the alarm will sound when the ghost is trying to overload something and this door will start opening you can stay here as long as you want and the way this works is you want to use your resupply codes because when you use these consumables it helps you get more glimmer from the cabals and not to mention plenty of resupply codes and network keys will drop from these enemies so if you don't have resupply codes yet you can go here and start farming here for a little bit and sooner or later you'll get a hold of some resupply codes to start this glimmer farm you could still get Glimmer here without the resupply codes. It just helps you get a lot more Glimmer using these. Because even the basic enemies will give you Glimmer. And not to mention these network keys can be sold to the Cryptarch for 200 Glimmer each. Now that can add up. That can add up big time. Especially if you're here for a little bit. I was only here for 4 restarts. So I had to kill myself 4 different times. And I had got enough Glimmer to do what I needed to do. But anyways make sure you save one enemy at the end. And have that enemy kill you so you can restart the farm run. Because once you spawn up, you'll spawn right here as the door is opening. And your resupply codes will still be active. So go right back in and start Glimmer farming again. Like I said, this Glimmer farm helped me out a lot. So I decided to share it with the community. I decided to share it with you guys. Because I know Xur requires a ton of Glimmer to get to the equipped exotics. And that's what I was aiming for. I'm actually aiming for the Suros and the Red Death right now. And I need a lot of Glimmer. A little tip here to help you guys out if you go in here and it feels like it's a little too difficult is just to hang back in the hallway because if you hang back in this hallway the enemies will be more narrow you know like your line of sight will be a lot more easier on the enemies. And you also get plenty of engrams here so those could be dismantled for glimmer and weapon parts for you to use to upgrade as well. So that's also a little bonus while being here and it can get you some bounties. So this spot all around is nice. This might be old to some, but you got to think everybody does not know about this. And you guys know that this Glimmer Farm can help a lot of people out. But hopefully it helps you out in some way. I guess that's about wrapping up this video. If the video was enjoyable, please remember to leave a like. It helps me out a lot and it is much appreciated. But I'm out of here though. Thanks everyone for watching and most importantly, thank you all for your time. Peace.
What's up, everybody? I am very tired right now. This is the night right after Smyrna Cemetery visit. One crazy ass night. That's, let's just say that one crazy ass night. 